Hi, gang. Welcome to this episode of Media Champions. I'm your host, Mary Trace Griffin in Atlanta. Today on the program, loaded with sage advice for all of you, please welcome Ian Wishingrad with Big Eyed Wish. Ian, it's so nice to finally have you on Media Champions. Thank you so much for having me. Hello, everyone. You help people build brand and business combined, and you do it well. You're doing it with gusto. Your website is phenomenal, by the way. And you you work with some pretty heavy hitters, I might say, everybody from AT&T to Macy's and everybody in between. Walk me through what it's like being you, trying to help people put their brand out there and tell their story the best way possible. Sure. Um, a lot of it depends. I guess the first thing is really understanding who the client is and who you want to target. Um, you could reach everyone in America if you want. You could say, like, if you're a soda brand, I want to target everyone with mouths. Um, but it's still helpful to really have a crystal clear understanding of who we want the messaging to be for. And then from there, I always try to be somewhat provocative without crossing the line. And what I mean by that is everyone skips ads. No one cares about your product as much as you do. And I think every single paid exposure, every time you have a chance to get in front of the consumer, you can never be complacent and you need to try to win them over. And winning them over means making a statement that is, or a visual, some combination of the two, that is memorable. <laughs> because so much of what's happened in our industry is it's kind of been so measured and there's been so many business-minded, strategic people that have come into the marketing roles that they're just trying to move the needle just a bit, nudge it a little bit, put the media out, nudge it a little bit. But that's not the special sauce. The magic is when we when we do a really special campaign that people really laugh and enjoy. And I don't mean a viral video. I mean an ad that you kind of laugh at, that you like, that or or something that has some sort of acerbic point of view. That's what I think is the magic. You know, you, you, you bring up a really valid point that I think people gloss over, and that is that, quote, memorable moment. That's got to be a lot of fun, helping people try to decipher what that memorable thing is, because everybody has one, but they might not get that they have one. And that's where a, a pro like yourself really comes into play. I also find that um, we're in such an era of, we're in such a visual era, right? All the social media platforms are very visual. TikTok is very verbal, but Instagram, very visual, Facebook, visual, display ads, very visual. And then traditional media, like a billboard or a TV ad, that's that's a lot of uh, um, audio as well and mixture. And I'm, I'm being a little broad, but what I mean by is I come from a copy background. I come from a words background. It's easy to make a stylish, ambient looking thing, but I like to, to put a stake in the ground and to say something. And a great line to me, a great tagline has a double entendre. So for example, one of our clients um, is, is, is a plant-based protein brand called Plant Fuel. And the whole plant category, the whole supplement category of weightlifters is whey, you know, W-H-E-Y, like whey, dairy, protein. And so we're trying sure. to basically say that plant, plant vegan protein could stand up and be as strong and as efficacious as whey. So the line is no effing way. Okay, like no way and I no effing it. way. <laughs> and that and that says it all. It it conveys attitude. It speaks with a level of testosterone that that category needs to speak to. It says the defining principle of it is plant fuel. We do not have whey. So I have compared myself to the other competitor, but now I've also said it with a tone that makes me want to wear it and say it. And it's, and it's just ballsy enough without crossing the line. And so to me, that is what I try to do for every single brand. Well, you're, you are super creative at what you do. And that brings me to my next question. So many uh, businesses, organizations, big or small, maybe they have an internal media or marketing department, and that's great. But why is it a good idea for them to partner with a subject matter expert like yourself and Big Eyed Wish? So I think I even encourage my clients now, we're working with Conair, right? Conair makes hair dryers. They're a big conglomerate that has other verticals. And we encourage them to have a mix of in-house and out of house. I don't think it's one or the other. I do think you always need a very sober external point of view to keep it real. They don't live in the building. They don't drink the Kool-Aid. The decks that go around, the living the brand 24-7 is not a real consumer. A consumer doesn't, they live in their own lives and your brand matters this much. So it's very important to have the fresh, creative, outside the box 
campaign steering the brand, I think, thinking coming from the outside. But then there's a lot of today's marketing practice, which is a lot of content marketing and a lot of social media and stuff that could kind of be more drumbeat. And that's a nice thing to have in house in terms of the creative services. So I think that's the best way to optimize. But every time you it's so, so, so infrequent that you see the creative, if all the creative is in an in house that it's ever, you know, particularly magical, there are exceptions. Um, but for the most time, creative people like to bounce around and work on different things. And when you work on one thing over and over again, you get a little tunnel vision. That is the best thing I've heard said in a long, long time. Ian, we're out of time. Uh, thanks for keeping it real with us. And uh, we hope you'll come back and continue the discussion on Media Champions. Thank you for having me. For the rest of you, let Ian help you keep it real, walk you through this process, and definitely check out his website because it's phenomenal. You're going to want this guy on your team. If you want to reach Ian, you can do that by reaching us here at dailyadbrief.com. I'm Mary Therese in Atlanta. We'll see you next time for more Media Champions. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.